I was reviewing data that we had generated during the 1990s when an individual was bitten by a thousand radiated infected mosquitoes, that individual was actually protected against malaria. So I came to the conclusion there actually is a malaria vaccine. This was a concept that most people thought was impossible. Steve and I never thought it was impossible. He looked at me and he says, well, we're going to make it. And I say, yes, we, we are. And people said, this is a crazy idea. We immediately applied for an NIH grant and started Scenaria in the kitchen of our house. This has taken a tremendous amount of dedication. People have picked up their entire families and come across the ocean from 17 different countries. We have the opportunity of going to work every single day with this goal of developing a vaccine for the more than 200 million individuals who fall ill to malaria every year. More than 200 million. Bit by bit, we tried to pull the problem apart. How would you make it? We would make it in the mosquito. Once the malaria parasites have multiplied to the level that we're happy with, we need to get those malaria parasites out of the mosquito so that we can put them in a bottle and inject them into people. Right now, the way that we get these parasites out of the mosquitoes, the speed and the precision, just by dissecting them out by hand, is phenomenal, but we want to make it better. Good is not good enough. That's why we began working with our colleagues at Harvard to make a robot to actually substitute for those people. The robot's called Sporobot. This project took a lot of creativity. There aren't a lot of references out there about how to design mosquito dissection robots. At this point, we've gone through proof of concept. We've developed capabilities no one has ever seen before. And when I first heard that we had some success, it was really a thrilling moment because we have to produce more vaccine in less time at less cost for people in the world who need it the most and who have the least. We've gone from what was inside of our heads to the most successful malaria vaccine trial in the history of the world. Every day that we hesitate in this process, another two to 3,000 children die. We have produced enough to produce the vaccine and show that it works, works in a way that's unprecedented. No other malaria vaccine has ever been able to protect all the people to whom it was administered, which we've now shown. The parts of Sporobot work, and now we have to put them together. This campaign is designed to get us to the prototype for producing the vaccine for the world. With Sporobot, we can really scale up to deliver this to everyone who needs it. We've been able to get the money that we do through the National Institute of Health, the large foundations of the world. But this has been a pretty tough time since we've had a recession. We lost millions and millions of dollars that would have been available to us had the sequester not gone into effect. And it's because of that we've gone to this crowdsourcing approach. We need the people of the world who, who really care to help us develop this vaccine. This is real. We are going to take this vaccine forward to eliminate malaria, and we need your help to achieve our goals.